Well, hey everybody. Um, what we're going to do today is take some very, very old hardwood pieces that I've had laying around and turn them into wooden spatulas. So this won't be carving, this will be cutting. So we'll use table saw to rip down or resaw. Um, as you see here, I didn't measure it. We're going to guess it's about four, a uh, quarter or five sixteenths thick. Um, these little spatulas are handy, um, safe for Teflon or cast iron pans. Um, kind of a cool story behind this wood. If you see here, I traced out the outline of two spoons. So theoretically, each of these has two spoons traced out, but I'm hoping that I can resaw and get a total of eight spatulas. So anyway, back to the story about this wood. It's got some really, really pretty grain. Um, this house that we live in was built in the early 1900s. And uh, as I remodel and, and uh, well, I don't much anymore, but as I used to remodel this place, um, I would take out studs from time to time. And the studs were all hardwood. So this is a started life as a stud. Um, I think it's maple. But anyway, um, started out as a stud. I've planed them, resawed them, used them for other projects and stuff. But uh, think about how old this wood is. If the house was built in 1906, and this was mature hardwood back then, um, this wood could be over 200 years old now. So how cool. But what a cool project to keep using this wood. Um, and frankly, I'm running low on material here <laughs> in the wood shop because I haven't... Uh, I haven't gone anywhere to get more material and I don't plan on it. So uh, step one is we'll just take the table saw and raise the fence up as high as we can. And we will rip down approximately somewhere in the middle of this. And uh, we'll do that with both pieces and then we'll come back and uh, move on to the next step. So as I got to start thinking about how to make this cut on the table saw, it occurred to me that that was gonna be pretty sketchy um, where this wood is going to be so thin that it would have, um, either way you sliced it, ha, wood joke, either way you slice it, um, would be dangerous about going down in between the blade and, uh, the table saw insert. So, um, <clears throat> you may have seen in an earlier video of mine that, um, uh, I do have a zero clearance insert, but it's for a six and a half inch plywood blade for fine cutting. Um, the challenge with that is, <clears throat> is this wood is somewhere over three inches wide, both pieces. So it's very likely that we're gonna need to um, cut this this way and then cut it this way as well. Um, so we need this height of the, of the full 10 inch blade. Long story, a little bit shorter. As a sub project inside this project, what we'll do is we'll take a piece of Luan that I had laying around and we are gonna make a zero clearance insert for the, uh, for the big blade. So uh, step one is it's very simple. Just trace this, trace the, uh, the current insert and if you notice, uh, just a tip here, you've already got one square uh, flat edge, straight edge. Use that as one edge. <clears throat> we'll take this over to the bandsaw, cut it out, come back, and I'll show you the steps to making a zero clearance insert. So maybe two projects for the price of one. Well, it's always something. We, should, we were cutting this piece out, everything was going cool. Um, and then the bandsaw blade broke. So we'll put a new one on. So we've got the machine unplugged and we'll see, I think I have another, um, another blade to put on, uh, which would be handy because, okay, so we, we have the new, <coughs> new blade on. It was an old blade actually, so we'll see how it goes, but uh, that was the only one I could find it was an old one I must have taken off for some reason. Um, but it does spin like it's supposed to. I've got it tightened up as much as I think it needs to be right now, so we'll back in business. Yay. Okay. So what we did was um, we had the piece cut 
and I always like to cut a hole and you just drill a hole in there so you can get it in and out. So it does fit, fits good. So now what we'll do is this, uh, the 10 inch blade is a little bit too high. It, it won't let it sit flush when, uh, when the blade's on the spindle. So we're gonna start with a smaller blade. Okay, so if you watch my videos, you know I don't usually like to show um, a lot of tools running, but <clears throat> what, we're, what we've got here, I think this is worth showing. The blade will come through somewhere in this, this area here. So we have the fence holding it down. And start the saw, see how this looks. Raise it up through, so right here. You hear it, start hitting the saw, or start hitting that insert sooner there. Here it comes. Yikes. Anyway, so there's your idea, right? So so you you use it to use the fence to hold down your insert. What we'll do now is we'll, we'll um, of course, we'll, we'll back this blade back down, move everything out of the way, put the insert back in with the 10 inch blade, and then it would have room to come up into this so that this can still lay flat. Okay, so there's the end result. You'll see um, there is no room. This, the saw blade obviously spins freely, but there's no room for anything to fall down inside as we are rip sawing uh, very thin pieces of material with the full size blade. So <laughs> we, we had to fix the bandsaw, we had to make a new piece, and now we can get back to our original project, which is um, making these spatulas out of very old hardwood. So let's go. <laughs> okay, so just in case you think everything always goes super smooth here down in the weird shop, um, we did make it through one resaw, um, so you see here how thin those pieces are. As we were going through the second piece, um, we were feeding uh, the, the material, and um, I don't know what happened, but exactly what happened, but what the result was, was the, the, the work actually pushed through the um, insert so down the saw obviously so we, we hit shut off and uh, we've unplugged it <laughs> i'm not really sure how to see if we yeah that. okay so i ended up i was able to salvage um these pieces here you can see the paint on them indicates i don't know something where the blade stalled but i just had a little bit a little bit to cut off finish that on the hand saw and we'll, we'll work that out later so uh, now what we'll do is we'll take the pieces that we have the spatulas already drawn on and we'll, we'll run them into the bandsaw. Just a tip here, see that we have the, uh, the two different pieces. What we'll do first is we'll just trace a, line, a run a line down through and then we'll separate them to make it easier and then we'll cut them out individually um, once we have them separated. Okay, so, well, here, here's the original, and it's it's well worn, and um, I don't even know where it came from. But these wooden spatulas are handy, um, just to just to pick up and stir. Uh, like I said, safe for all all types of pots and pans. What we're going to do to finish this project to make it look a little bit more like this is, of course, we're going to take and we're going to sand it, and we're going to end up with a a flat surface. Had a little bit of bandsaw issue here, no big deal. We'll sand it up, make it nice and uh, to put it into use right now. So this one, like I said, I, I don't know what kind of wood this is, if it's maybe poplar or maple or something. It's so old you can't even tell. Um, use a lot, but then we'll have a new one. And I'm just gonna keep cutting them all, but you get the idea. So had some challenges on this project for sure. <laughs> First step, the bandsaw blade broke, which happens. Then we had to make an insert for the table saw, and then that broke. Um, but just keep on moving, um, keep her moving. And uh, you don't need a ton of equipment or a ton of um, experience and expertise to make some things that you can use every day. So I hope this video gives you the confidence to do that and I hope that you find it useful. Thanks for watching.